I hate to start the vlog off like this, but the abandoned FC is still there on bricks. No change. So sad. On a positive side of things, at least the trees are now starting to change color because it's autumn. It's taken a while over here. I feel like autumn's definitely been a bit late this year, so it's kind of nice to see all the uh, color changing and stuff happening. It's probably one of my favorite seasons is autumn. Anyways, we got to get back onto this mini. My plan is to get everything done on it today. And then uh, the only thing that will be left uh, to change on it will be the O2 sensors. Those are on their way and should be here the next few days as well. But this thing should be all back together and not clunking around. And I can get some two, some new two front tires. I found tires on um, Yahoo Auctions, brand new ones, um, that I'll be able to get way cheaper than what I could get at um, uh, at UpGarage the other day. And yeah, they are 19555R16s. So I'll order those off uh, Yahoo Auctions and they'll be here and we'll put brand new fronts on. For now, I'm gonna put the camera down, get everything set up and just start dropping that front subframe. So I've undone all of the bolts and I'm now at the point of uh, slowly lowering this subframe. Oh yeah, here she comes. Now I have to go slow. All right, once it lowers a little bit more. All right, I'm gonna stop here. I'm just gonna make sure no cables are catching or dragging down from the power steering reservoir as well. And then we'll continue going down even more. But so far, so good. Yeah, the reservoir is free of everything. We can go down and check the lines on the side. Make sure the speed sensor wires are good. Come down some more. Oh yeah, here she comes. We are looking good. Let's just make sure that power steering reservoir is not getting stuck on anything up here. Looks like that's got a clean shot all the way through too. Let's keep going. Oh, I should probably just have another quick check under here that we're not caught on any wires. All right, we look good. I think it's uh, it's ready to come down all the way. There we go. Boom. Up frame drop. <sighs> Whew, I feel like I've accomplished something. Feels good. Reservoir, I can kind of just push down there now. And uh, we'll be able to just pull this whole thing out now. All right. Let's get this thing out from under the mini. And then uh, we can start replacing those bushes. So as you guys can see, we've got this thing completely out and away from the car now. And I've already undone the bolts that hold the sway bar in that also go through the mount point here and as you can see this thing is shot like really badly shot the whole thing twists on top of itself so i'm going to work on that with a pry bar and get these off both sides like look at this this pieces are coming out of it um both sides are shot this side's just as bad honestly look at that not as badly worn as this side though but anyways i'm going to pull them off we got the brand new ones the best thing is is we don't have to use this part um and press in a new uh like press the old one out and press in a new one because the mounts that i ordered are one piece so they completely just replace that so we don't even have to worry about uh the whole ordeal of having to press anything so we're just going to throw these in the bin they might be a bit hard to get off the control arms though but that's why we got some grease and crc and stuff we can spray in there and slide them off so again this off has been a bit of a pain in the butt but i've just been using some soapy water that I use for my boost leak checking and just using the multi grips like that to just slowly get the piece off because these are still stuck on here because the mounts broke all on the inside there like that see so that's why there was all that play and movement so these guys were shot all right cool so now we gotta do the other side and then uh, we should be good I am gonna obviously uh, clean everything up as much as I can on the subframe too because I do want this thing to pass shuck in so I'll also clean it up with some parts cleaner and get everything looking nice. So for the last hour or so, I've been beating myself up because it turns out I do need to press to get these pushed on. Like even though they're one piece and stuff, I don't have to press a, a bushing into the housing like this, but I have to push and press the entire thing over this sleeve here, which requires a press. I lube that thing up so much with Vaseline and stuff and it just wouldn't budge. 
but your boy MacGyver Sam here, let me show you my homemade press. Come for a walk with me down into the stormwater drain here, where you will see probably the most dangerous press known to man. <laughs> um, I do not recommend anyone doing this at home. Uh, this is kind of sketchy, but <laughs> essentially I used my car jack and a block of wood that I had here to space between the bush, uh, the mount bush here, and the jack head. And then I used the other half of the jack pole here against the concrete to then press against the lip on the side of the control arm there. And now it's pressed all the way in, no problem. And then, uh, by the way, see these marks here? That's how much pressure I had to put on this thing. And it literally like chipped out the concrete. So yeah, a lot of force is involved to get that done. So it has been a massive amount of time since the last time I picked up the camera. I did a pretty big boo-boo and accidentally installed the mount on backwards up the front. Um, so I had right to left correct. The issue was, was this, instead of it pointing that way, was pointing that way. So nothing lined up. Luckily though, I was able to pry the mounts off because I lubed them up really good with my big tub of Vaseline over there. Um, so we were really fortunate to be able to slide them off without damaging them and repress them on. So I had to do everything twice there, which is my fault because I, I just got way too excited that things were kind of going smoothly. And then uh, now, sun setting and it's starting to get dark so i'm gonna try and get this subframe bolted back in the mini and try to get as much back together as i can um <laughs> I, I don't think i'm gonna get this finished today which sucks because i really thought i was gonna get this finished today uh, and just the amount of time i've spent trying to get this whole thing back together is just it, it was a lot a, a big effort let's just say that i broke a lot of tools all right like my trusty multi-grips are no more these things put me channel locks whatever they're called these things lasted a long time i broke some other tools somewhere i can't find but anyways and i split open my finger good times yo good times i also got yelled at by a japanese old guy because i was sitting in the storm drain doing something weird apparently and then the moment he saw what i was doing he was fine but anyways that aside let's get this thing back slidden under there and hopefully lined up and bolted in pretty easily and then uh, i can start pretty much just bolting everything back together and then leave things for tomorrow I got the subframe all lined up to go on the mini, but I need a break, so stopping by these random vending machines, literally like in this forest here. <laughs> Gonna get myself a nice tall can of Pepsi. They don't have Coke here, so that'll have to do. Uh, I could go with melon soda though, but... Oh no, that's out. Yeah, it's that's empty. Oh no, the Pepsi's gone too! Oh, mega devoed! So's the Mitsuya Cider. No, everything good is gone! Damn it! A pretty decent update for you guys. You can see the jack is out here, which means the subframe is now bolted in. I've got the main four bolts in. I now got to go around and start doing all the other bolts that hold it all in um, and start bolting everything on like the hubs and whatnot. I'm going to try and get done as much as I can tonight. I do have my light under there, as you can see. So I'm going to try and get done as much as I can um, so that tomorrow all I have to do is just a little bit. <sighs> but man, this thing took way more energy, time, and effort than I was anticipating, that was for sure. I was like, oh, it's a mini, how hard could it be? <laughs> yeah. So, um, once I have this finished and it all back together as best I can, hopefully tomorrow we just do a little couple things here and there, and then uh, this thing will be back together. I'll get those two new tires. Um, we'll sort out a few other things on the car, like just clean it all up, and we should be able to pass shuck in with flying colors. Just need to check the headlights are good and polish them and stuff, and then we should be good. Yes, you do need to polish your headlights here, because sometimes if they're too dull, the light testing machine fails at the shuck in place. So, need to get that sorted, and then uh, once this thing has shuck in, it'll be legal to drive on the road, and we can uh, find a buyer for it, or uh, drop it off at auctions. We'll find out. All right, you guys know what this means? We got everything back together. I literally just powered through everything. It is pitch black right now, but it only took me about an hour and a half to finish bolting everything back on. I am so happy. I mean, don't get me wrong, like, I give this thing crap because it's like, you gotta disassemble so much just to be able to do like simple jobs and things like that. But once you know what you're doing, it's pretty easy. Like, it's kind of crazy to think about that it only took me an hour and a half to put everything back together. So, there's that. We're gonna put this thing back on the ground and pack everything up. The only thing left to do is to change that top engine mount and cam angle sensor tomorrow. That's it. So, the whole subframe removal and that kind of stuff is all finished. 
I don't have to touch anything under there except the O2 sensors, which I know why the ones failed. Um, whoever installed it didn't um, install the sensor first and then run the wire. What he did was he ran the wire and then went to put the sensor in and then just kept turning it and twisted the wires and ripped them all out of the sensor. You can actually see at the end of the sensor they're twisted so much they started pulling out of it. So that's probably why that sensor's failed on the um, and giving that code. I'm gonna lie. It's still weird that this thing has wheel studs that like screw in. It still creeps me out. Well, I'm not gonna lie, I was not expecting to get this thing on the ground back on its wheels today. I thought I was just gonna get a couple bolts done and then not have enough time to finish it and then just leave it and come back tomorrow. But I'm really happy that we finished everything under the car to do with the subframe and those bushes that we replaced. And literally, all we have to do tomorrow is replace a cam angle sensor, which we have to remove this piece for which connects to the engine mount uh, to get to but the best thing is is we have to take that off anyways because we're replacing this engine mount because this is split too so i think we won there um, honestly i'm pretty happy about this and then we're going to give this thing a bath inside the engine bay outside the car see what it looks like see what it handles and then i'll make a final decision from there what we're going to do with this thing who knows i might end up falling in love with it and want to keep it i don't know but from here I'm happy, I'm stoked. I'm gonna pack up my mess that is all of my tools everywhere right now. <laughs> it's a disaster. Um, but I'm gonna clean everything up and then uh, I'll probably just jump in the car and head home and we'll pick things up from there. But solid effort today, guys. Um, I'm just proud of myself because I've never worked on a Mini in my life, yet I was just able to pretty much get all of that done. So I'm proud, I'm happy, patting myself on the back right now. But something that you guys need to do for me is head to summit.net and get yourself some merch. Everything is heavily discounted right now. Go there right now. There is literally not much stock of any of the shirts left. Um, there's only a few certain sizes. Go there, see, don't miss out on this drop because none of these shirts will be coming back and we'll be moving into the new drop coming in in the next month or so. So don't miss out guys, everything's heavily discounted. Get something now before Christmas, you won't regret it. So I've been driving the Mini around in the car park, just testing all the problems that it previously, like you'd hear clunking and stuff, like under braking, or when you would accelerate, you'd feel even in the steering, the front wheels would move, especially the left-hand side was the worst. But seems like those bushes were the problem and replacing them has fixed it. The thing feels so much better now. So, first major issue, fixed on the Mini. So time warping ahead, Okachan called me and wanted to meet me at Daikoku PA. I'm not expecting there to be any cars here, but I figured I'd pull out the camera just in case there's anything cool. He's got a bag of rice to give me and I have a whole bunch of Linky CU uh, stuff to give him for one of his customers. Okay, yeah, there's some kind of cool cars here. Not too bad, not too bad. Uh, let's see, where is Okachan? Wonder what he's hearing. Let's see what we can find. So I'm just helping Okachan shoot a video right now uh, to do with the new camcorder he's testing in the car to see what it's like in low light and stuff, which is pretty cool. But uh, there's definitely some cool cars here, especially this A70 Supra that I want to check out. It looks like it has center locking wheels on there, so we need to look at that. It looks very cool. So from the distance, the lighting looked like it just had center locking wheels on it, but it does have the normal five star wheels. It's just the lighting from that distance made it look like that. This thing's very cool. Um, the paint's not in the greatest condition, but it just looks nice because it's kind of lowered on these wheels that have got some nice meaty thick sidewalls. I really like it. I dig this a lot actually. It's nice for an A70 Supra. And then uh, we'll go for a walk through here and see what we can find. There's always a little bit of America here. Not bad. Let's see what's up here. Nice Porsche. S2000. Got a Prius or a Corolla. I can never tell anymore. Honda Civic 34 four door with some pretty big Wang game. Looks like a GTT to turbo. Not bad. Mix match doors, stuff happens. It's pretty empty today. Ooh, that is a clean Z32. Not bad, not bad at all. And moving over here, this is literally, probably the emptiest I've ever seen it in a long time. But I mean, I can't, it's, it's a Thursday. I'm never here on Thursdays. 
nice SW20MR2 ND got a nice Subaru we got an Evo 10 <laughs> this guy's actually a friend he's got a really nice Evo 4 we've looked at it before very cool um, we got this 180SX we got a cappuccino we got a bug eye not bad pretty decent turnout it's like an E85 11 not too bad and we got this thing not gonna lie, I really do like these high ace vans and when people like kind of do this type of thing to them here in Japan. It just looks good. Not bad. And then we're back at Okachan now. I guess he's gonna leave. <laughs> I'm not sure what's happening. And just like that, Okachan's now heading home. <laughs> he's so busy at the workshop right now. I think he's looking at hiring another staff member right now. On top of all the work and the jobs that he's doing, he's also trying to upload two to three videos on YouTube every week. So every night he's like editing and filming. So like sometimes his videos may, may be like compiled of three days in one. And what happens is he'll shoot different sections on each days and then kind of like join it together. So this is what that was tonight for him. Anyways, I'm gonna go hang out with a couple of friends that are here and then I'm gonna head home too. Ooh. Is this a Pulsar? Or is this a Primera? I, ne I can never remember. I know that's got an SR in it though, I'm pretty sure. Nice little cool K car over there, rolled in. Not bad. Just got home from that little side quest with Okachan and it was great to be able to hang out with him because I haven't seen him in a couple weeks now actually. It's, it's, it's been a while. Um, and that aside, we obviously got a bunch of stuff done on the Mini today that I was not expecting to get done so quickly. So touch wood, but it seems like all the hard stuff is done now. Tomorrow we're just gonna do that top engine mount and that cam angle sensor. And then when the O2 sensors arrive, we're gonna do that too. But that's really quick and easy. And then the car's ready for me to flip. Um, from that point, I don't know exactly how it's gonna go down, what we're gonna do, but I'll let you guys know and keep you guys updated. Um, because, you know, who knows? Flipping this car may turn into a few more flips and then all of a sudden we might have some money to buy like an RX-7 FC or FD, you, you, know, you don't know. Um, obviously I know that stuff is a lot more expensive, but if we're able to, you know, get a couple grand for this car now, then we've made a little bit of money on it, then we can get something a bit more expensive from the auctions, fix it up, flip it, make even more, you know what I mean, in this Cascades. So uh, this is, I know we're starting off with a Mini Cooper, and it's not like super amazing and it's not getting a bunch of clicks and views and stuff like that. But I think it's gonna be very, very cool if this turns into something and we get some really crazy cool car out of it. So with that guys, keep that in mind. Smash that like button, write us a comment and subscribe and I'll see you all in tomorrow's video. Don't forget Samit.net, go get yourself some Samit merch before it is all gone. There's not much left now and I don't want you guys to miss out. Everything's on sale, go get yourself something discounted and I'll see you all in tomorrow's video. Peace out, Jamata.